been on a journey already with these guys um, from Berlin to New York to Canada. And still, it's very special for us to be in our hometown with so many people we know uh, sitting here. Um, and we, we thank you, I, I mean, we don't want to repeat all the thank yous, but still, uh, it's very special for us to be here, precisely. And, and um, also, we're, we're talking in English, obviously, because the dancers are here with us, and, and maybe some other people in the room as well. But um, I'd like to say a big, 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 big thank you to a very special group of people. Um, Roseanne mentioned them very shortly, but there was a fundraising dinner in the very, very beginning. It seems like history, ancient history now. But it was when there was no film, there was just a film idea. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Three questions, so you're part of this. Um, well, acknowledgement. <sighs> Where to start? Who has a question? I just want to say, I, I never speak first. <laughs> I am so proud of your courage, Slam and Carlton. I'm so proud of you guys for speaking and telling your story. And it goes for everybody, of course. Thank you. <laughs> and of course we thank Ryan, that's true, but I just want to let you, you, you too. You, you saw what happened at the reunion, dude. Every time I watch it, this is my fifth time watching it, and it's, I love them. I love you. So much. And this time you got to speak first. <laughs> Guys, you've seen the movie a number of times, and still I see that you're really moved by hearing your, your brother's stories, but also experiencing an audience with you, sharing the stories. Um, how was that? I mean, the first time we were in Berlin together, how, how was that falling, you know, something can fall and you realize something big happened in Berlin, but now what are you learning from this experience of putting this film out there? Can I ask you, Carlton, since you're hiding the mic behind you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, got you. What are you learning from the experience of these stories going out and the responses you're getting across the world? Oh, Lord. Um, thank you, everybody. I, I think, um, you know, the biggest takeaway to me, for me, is to stop my own personal stories because I clearly do not know what the universe is trying to do for me. Do you know, I mean... I have a really dear friend that's here, Ginger. Ginger, can you stand up for a second? This is my dearest friend. And she is the first person that ever heard me say I was HIV diagnosed. And, you know, just the fact that, you know, I was diagnosed in 1985, my particular psychology around it, I was riddled with fear and shame for so many years, and you saw the movie and all that. So the fact that, you know, this area that I thought for sure, absolutely, would marginalize my life, that God would be strategizing inside of my doubt and my fear and my insecurities and whatever, 
not knowing if people still cared or if I had any relevance. And that in that exact same time, these amazing freaking angels <laughs> for all of us for, you know, plotting and strategizing on our behalf. And so to think that this thing that I thought would keep my life simple would be the actual thing that would blow me and us up in a way that I never experienced just goes to show I don't fucking know what's going on. <laughs> Let it go. Yeah. Are there questions from the audience? I don't, we're, I'm sure there must be. It was Geyer's film idea and he told me and I just thought, wow, let's go and do it. And I That's think... It's an important step, though. Uh, it's an important <laughs> step, though, because um, I, think, I think what we both felt was that in this, in this simple... It was already a bit of a film idea. What happened to those dancers? And there were already promises of the stuff that film funds love. I think, um, uh, since you haven't said anything, Lewis, um, maybe, but someone else can jump in. So if Madonna was here tonight, what truth or dare question would you ask her? <laughs> I would dare her to kiss somebody in the audience. <laughs> oh, we have some great people in the audience. I just want to point out our Minister of Culture, Ms. Yet is here. <laughs> It would definitely be her. That would, but we also have the incredible Hedy Honigman, who's been a mentor to, to Esther, waiting to be kissed. And many other fabulous people. Many people to kiss. Many people to kiss. Yeah. Well, I would definitely have her kiss the, you know. The minister. The minister. The, the minister. <laughs> so Seeing that she loves, you know. Sounds religious, so I would have to. <laughs> so it would be a dare for sure. It would definitely be a dare, and she would do it too. So oh, sure. <laughs> the question is, would the minister do it? <laughs> <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Spotlight. Oh yes. <laughs> she's the minister of well, culture. Well, minister, like a day, she's here. <laughs> I mean, twenty. Even my sister, you know, my sister. My family is here, you know, and I just told them like two months ago, you know, it just, at the same time, it's so silly, you know, but it just, you know, it's true, you know, it's like, you know, mind of the matter, you know, you can do whatever you want to do, you know, and I'm, I'm so thankful, I'm thankful for all of this, I, I, I truly am, and I believe that everything always happens for a reason, and when I was 18, when they told me, you know, whatever, I was going to die, you know, you'd never really understand it. And then 29 years later on, you do understand what really happens, you know, so, yeah. Mm -hmm. We're so grateful for all of you for sharing your stories. Um, I think one of the core cool things about this film that I've experienced a number of times I've seen it is the emotion you guys feel Many of us, most of us in the audience share that, and it's the journey for all of us. Your journey is the embodiment, I think, of, of a generation, certainly my generation, the losses, the pains, the, the triumphs. Um, and it connects, obviously, to everyone in this room. You had two standing ovations. Um, we do need to draw the Q&A to a close, but all I can say on behalf of the audience, again, is thank you all so much, the directors, you incredible human beings who we've got to know better than some of our best friends <laughs> and for all the the beauty and the pain and the joy and the triumph the nice thing about these things is now we actually get to party yeah. thank you <laughs>